What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary free, all pro football, 2K Man 18. I want to talk about animation based tackles and how they're implemented into football games and how realistic you can get with them. Because Madden is the only game I know that tries to blend animation tackling with physics, and I just don't think it works. So let's take a look here. All pro football, 2K8. You're going to take a look at a tackle initiated, and here is the tackle animation. All right, and when you have this tackle animation, it's going to play out. But the problem is, once this happens, you have to still be able to branch off it or have other things happen. And no matter what it looks like, the end result to the gamer should be believable. So Pepper Johnson is going to come in here and hit these two. And it looks absolutely terrible to see them both completely shift and warp through the ball carrier. But the end result is believable. The ball carrier is driven back and he doesn't have any more forward momentum or progress. Now, when we take a look at Madden, I want you to notice a very similar situation. The tackle animation is poor. It starts to go into a side tackle. Number 59 is going to come in and hit the ball carrier square. But now he can't branch off this animation anymore. So it gives the ball carrier back his balance and his momentum to start trucking after the tackle. Same scenario, two very different ways the game deals with it. And then now here, in my opinion, maybe becomes the physics engines problem where the, maybe the players from behind are pushing or maybe the players just trucking. I don't know. But visually, this does not look like what you expect the results to be. And let's be honest, that's what this has to pass. It has to pass the visual test, whether it's animations or physics. You have to be able to look at it with some type of critical eye and say, yes, that's believable. This player should have broken that tackle. This player should have been brought down. And in Madden, more often than not, in my opinion, you're saying the latter. Go and take a look at another example. And this is not a difficulty setting, as some of you like to think. When you have a ball carrier that's running into his own lineman, it's not the same as a tackle animation. So, yes, there's stumble control happening here. Yes, there's suction happening here. But I want you to pay attention to the way these players interact with each other. Because truthfully, with only one broken tackle from Coleman, Johnson brings me down in one tackle. That's your difficulty level right there. One tackle, one stop. But it's everything that happens before that that looks absolutely horrible. To go back and take a look at all pro football, in my opinion, if you're going to use a tackling system, you have to stick with one and use that. You cannot begin to blend these two mechanics together. I agree that you should not have as much shifting and warping when you're trying to complete a tackle as this game, but I will accept it as long as it's not a complete disaster, which is what I kind of see Madden is right now with this tackling. No consistency, visually off-putting, and the end result usually is in simulation football. Let me know your thoughts on it. Appreciate you checking it out. Back in the week with more commentary.